All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm a little bit late with this one here. I had to wait like a week and a half in order to pick it up. But I just got it. Got it installed. Checked out all the settings. Hopefully everything runs okay. Uh, usually I do a test recording before I get started, but I didn't do that because I want to jump into it. So far, um, I don't know anything really about the game other than just the fact that a lot of it is the same stuff that was in part one, um, including the main story. <laughs> so this game kind of feels like a remake. It feels like part one with like better graphics, a little bit of better story and stuff like that. So don't know how I'm going to feel about that when I jump in. But uh, we're going to play through it here. Uh, we got all the audio and everything set okay, so hopefully it sounds okay to you guys. But uh, let's jump into it. And we're playing on PC with a controller. So, no, if that matters to you guys. Also, we got ray tracing and, you know, all the settings turned all the way up for the most part. So, should look pretty good. So far, this game's like a zero out of 10 because I don't hear no J pop music during the, you know, the main menu. So, that's when I first got the original, you know, back before they took that song out. But yeah, I remember it. So far, zero out of 10 so far. Okay. Feel like I'm watching The Witcher, but okay. Without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the sovereign. <laughs> My word. Such an inspiring visage. Your majesty shall have my inspiring visage. That peasant looking guy? To each their own, I guess. It's poison. You're supposed to have somebody taste it first. Okay, so the story is the same. Is he the same Arisen King that was in the first game? The one you kind of had to fight? Unless this is me, you know, you know, the actual Arisen. Okay. So if that is the same guy or the same king that was in part one, if I remember right, 
going back over 10 years. But if I remember right, that king was a part of the cycle when he was one of the Arisen and he chose not to fight the dragon and he chose wealth and he became the king. And so when you fought and killed the dragon, he still died because of it, because he didn't do his job and fight the dragon himself. I wonder if this is like a true remake, because that's what it felt like. I've, I've only seen like a couple videos of other people playing it. And uh, I didn't notice up until three weeks ago when the game came out, but I didn't realize that that the developers, uh, somebody mentioned that the developers previously said that, like, oh, it's going to be very similar to part one. I, I mean, I thought it was going to be a sequel, but um, I know that kind of turned me off of it because I don't want to remake, <laughs> I want a sequel, but um yeah, we're going to be making our own character, so... Yeah, we're not using no presets. But, uh, from what I hear, this character customization is, uh... Is really great, so... I'm going to probably skip all the way through it. I know last time when I did it and made my character, everybody got bored, and so I was like, you know what, fine. You know, this this gen, we're going to skip it. Okay, they got Khajiit now? Okay. Okay, very manly buff lady or very feminine looking man. All right, I um, guess we're going to go with the custom. I'm guessing that's going to be uh, this one here. Okay. I like how the that, you know, cat people actually look like cat people. They don't look like, you know, how, how they do in Elder Scrolls. All right, I guess we're going with custom. I got to be the cool edgelord in the back. All right, choose race, body type, blah, 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 blah. Okay, what type of character am I going to make? I know in the first game I made, uh, I'm probably going to do the same exact thing. <laughs> make, make a black character, except um, I'm going to probably change his hair color. But I know I made a black guy and I made like a tall Amazonian red haired chick as my two handed warrior. I don't even know if they have my class in this game. Do they have Mystic Knight? Cause I only saw like somebody was talking about like they only have like you know a couple classes and they got similar vocations, but I heard nobody talk about Mystic Knight. So hopefully they still have it because that's what I was in part one and I'd rather be that if I could. If not, we may have to change up. All right, let me actually get through this here. One sec.
man here. All right, let's see. Vocation. Uh, okay, I kind of forgot what Mystic Knight was a hybrid of. I want to say it was a like, fighter and mage. Huh. Can be changed later. I wonder if the thief class is still cool. Because I know I was a fighter most of the time last time, so I'm thinking about changing it up. I don't want to be an archer. Mage, if I remember right, they had powerful spells, but casted slow. Definitely not going to be that, so let's go with a thief. Detailed uh, customization. Well, I guess that's what we already did. Voice. How do I test? There we go. Can barely heal this. Yeah, I may have to go back and adjust the audio because I thought I kept the game uh, voices up, but I can barely hear this. It's like the music is drowning everything out, unless that doesn't kick in until gameplay starts. Okay, these aren't bad. Not bad. I can I can't even hear these. <laughs> Like, I can kind of hear five. That sounds decent. I guess it don't really matter. Let's jump in. Name. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're playing on a PC here, so let's see. Oh, what? Do I got to move the mouse? Click in there. Can I not type? You want me to do it with controller? Okay. Why can't I tape? There we go. Thank you. Weird. Not new. Moniker. Do we really need one though? Is this what like the game's gonna call us instead of my name? Like, do we have to pick one of these or can we just go in blank? I mean, they're probably gonna be calling me a risen all day anyway. Cause these just look like random names you can pick and i see a lot of capcom names in here so yeah we don't need none of that i don't need to pretend like i'm a street fighter character let's go let's get it let's go save the world 31 minutes in although it'll probably be like 10 seconds for you guys Yeah, I may have to adjust the audio. I can barely hear him right now. Although that could be my recording audio, though. Whatever, don't make me shove that staff up your butt. Why they gonna start me off as a slave though? Like how like how did they enslave me being how big as I am? Like <laughs> what chains did they use, you know? Alright. Alright, let me see. Check this game audio real quick. Uh options, options, system, options. Oh well first I don't want to save. Most important one. Uh sound. Master volume is up. Background music is down. Sound effects menu. See, yeah, I got voices turned up. And all the other voices up. So what the hell? Okay. Don't know why that's like that, but uh, let me do this here. See if this makes a difference. Let me turn this down a little bit more. Because maybe it's just on my end. I don't know, but maybe I can turn my headset up. Turn the background music down a little bit more. Because to me, when I'm listening to it, it sounds like it's drowning out. Because that could be my recording settings, but 
that that shouldn't affect the levels in game though. Let me try to talk to somebody. Hail. Yeah, it's like their voices is turned down. I wonder if um because if it was my recording setup, then everything would be turned down, right? But it's not that. The background music is fine. Let me just turn that all the way down. Let me see something. Because it could be that did they not record the voices on a different track? I will see to it that the law is upheld. Okay, so now I can hear fine with no, with no music. Okay. So yeah, maybe just they didn't do the audio balancing right. All right, man, let's do this. Let's turn you up a little bit. Hey, do not impede me, sir. I'm on duty. Mm, that's still. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'll figure it out once I play the, uh, the recording back. So I'll get it right for the next video if it's not. But. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, we can work with that. Hmm. I've troubles enough of my own. All right, uh, guess we walk out of here. You're not gonna stop me. Now, oh, let me um do this here too. Cause I'm weird like that. Where's camera controls? Uh, I want Y axis to be reversed. There we go. Okay. Barely fit in this hallway. Look how big I am. See, I made a normal size guy in part one, so I I, I made my my chick super big. <laughs> so uh, I guess with this one, I'm gonna play the reverse. I feel like watching that anime. What was, what was that anime back? few years back. Going Saga? <laughs> I gotta watch that to get in my cat guy mindset. I want to punch a guy and have a tree burst in the flames when his helmet hit it. That was an awesome anime, by the way. And even an even better book. Because I first read the book back in high school. And then, like, 20 years later, they want to make an anime about it. That they never made a season two. I was kind of upset about that. Uh, I guess we're following this guy. Hail. Uh, I'm, I'm there. I'm right there with you. I should have recolored my whiskers to be black, but I feel like I got a white mustache. Maybe we can adjust our character later on in the game. Okay. This guy looks familiar. Okay. Let us proceed to the site. Okay. Why are we listening to him, though? I mean, if we're all pawns, shouldn't we be listening to the Arisen? Just saying. I mean, that was the whole thing. I mean, pawns were just people. They, if I remember right, I could have sworn the first game, they really didn't have a will of their own. <laughs> you know, they could walk and talk, but they were like soulless people. Although they wouldn't shut up, though. Every five minutes harpies i hope to god they change that in this because that bugged the hell out of me in part one taking two steps they saying every damn thing all right where are we supposed to go i also heard that you actually got to look in this game like the game doesn't hold your hand love that um um guy that's not how you're supposed to be doing that but okay you know whatever gets the job done but um, but yeah, a lot of games in, in modern times, they kind of hold your hand, make you do everything, you know, put a compass on your screen. So I'm glad to see that uh, some game developers are just like, no, look, fig look, figure shit out, you know. So you got to follow the guy down there, I assume. But just taking a look around, seeing what we got. I wonder if this is the... um. 
I remember if, if if this is just a straight up remake of part one with with more stuff. I remember I forgot the name of the town, but I remembered once the um once you beat the game, the this big ass pit opened up at the edge of town. And uh, it kind of sort of destroyed part of the town, and, and you had to go down in there, and it was like a dungeon thing. It was like DLC. Um, I'm guessing is that what this is? Maybe they're digging out more rooms to that place, or maybe this is just something else, and this is just a tutorial area. Pick up a boulder. You don't want to. You don't want me to do that. That's a weapon in my hands. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Okay. All right, gotcha. Go moving some rocks. I guess they're extorting my strength. Okay. That's how I use the lantern. Like, I should be able to hoist this above my head and crush that guy with that stuff. Excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me. Badass coming through. Can jump with a boulder? No, I got some strength. Now the next step is to. The next step is escape, I'm guessing. Perhaps we ought to investigate. No, we should use this opportunity to Break one of these guards in neck, steal his weapons, and escape. So we should do. Yeah, so far this has a different intro than the first game. First game, they had you playing as like another Arisen fighting at, uh, the dragon and getting killed, and then you started off in a town with this girl that liked you. Up, oh, snake titties. Gotta fight a Medusa? Where's the Hydra? <laughs> so was that Staff controlling the pawns, or is he like a mage? Because if he's a mage, cast him. Charge up like a big tornado or something. Up oh, weapons. Oh, you coward! Guess I gotta be the big man. That's right, grab that sword. Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did pick Thief. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, what? I didn't roar at her? I should have roared, man. That would have been cool. Carve. Watch for an opening. No, we make openings around here. I mean, watch for an opening. All right, what's the block button? Okay. Uh, sheath, weapon scale, grab. Ah. Uh. Alright, dodge. Okay, let's do this. Maybe we can't block because we don't have a shield. That is an advantage of having one of those. Oh! You scaly bitch. Give me them titties. Oh. Wait, what? I died? What? Well, I guess I wasn't really paying attention to help. I just assumed I couldn't die. <laughs> How we died the first enemy of the game? The weak. I don't know, maybe she did have some kind of poison or something. I kept seeing that uh, purple stuff. Pretty sure it wasn't grape juice. Alright, let's go back up here and try again. You know, it's not about how bad you fall, it's about how you get back up. All right, let me just do the Dark Souls method of things. Let me just stab her in the butt. Although snakes don't really have butts. St stab her in, in, in the tail hole. 
Alright, this thing's gonna be working. I'll just keep doing this. Let everybody else draw the angry titties, so uh, I'll just do this. Stay away. Uh, lady, swing something. If you're just gonna walk, please do something. Why does RB... Ah, oh, there we go. Don't you run? Or slither? Whatever it is that you do. So are we going after or are we escaping right now? Because we got weapons. And you are? Powder? What? No, nobody's going to get that reference. The hell did he just put on him? Oh, you! <laughs> I don't like a cartoon. <laughs> this way or is it? Come this way. Let us flee. Why are we fleeing? I want to stay and fight. Let's go. Okay. Maybe running isn't a, such a bad idea. So I can't heal myself. Well, don't hit the edge. That would suck. But pawns can't die though. They just respawn. That's the whole thing. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. This is cool though. So I got my mount, right? That's what the game's telling me. I feel like I'm playing wild right now. Okay. Guess we'll figure out who that is eventually. So the dragon doesn't steal your heart in this, in this part? Unless it has yet to happen. But I had a big scar on my chest, so maybe he already did it. Because I think this game has like the same kind of sort of story where it's like, okay, the dragon takes his heart. You still got to fight the dragon. I mean, I have no idea. I've got, that's just what I'm assuming based on uh, a lot or two from other YouTubers that I've uh, checked out a couple videos that they made. I think it's going to be just like a rehash of part one, like a reimagining or um, whatever they call a reboot game when, when, when they make it. That's what it feels like. So maybe they're taking a few liberties, kind of like how they did with uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake, where they kind of changed the story up a whole lot, even though it's you're playing through the same events, but then they changed up a little bit. Maybe we're about to get dropped off in that town that you started the game at in part one. And then maybe the dragon attacks and you got to, you know, try to save your girl and everything. And what the griffin do? He ain't bother nobody. He was helping us and y'all just had to be like dicks. That's kind of messed up. I can understand if the griffin was like attacking or killing people, but he was just flying by, minding his own business. OK, 
kind of sucks. Kind of feel bad. All right, if we find that lady, I mean, she's going to get stabbed. They're killing that griffin. Gr griffin saved my life. And then she killed the griffin, so, like, I got to get revenge for him. Why do I have, like, a human voice? That kind of sucks. Oh, you are fucked, guy. I've seen plenty of hentai. This is not going to go well for you. Nope. Yeah, but do you really rem want to remember what's about to happen? If you're truly the arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Alright. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see this. Oi, are you alright? What's happened here? Ooh, look! Walking armor for me. Griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Well, what does logic tell you? But then again, this guy does look kind of stupid, so. Is it you then? The one who was riding on its back? I, I don't know. Take a guess. What do you think? It's a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. And why are you so nice? Okay. First taste of freedom. Escape the bonds of slavery. A single bolt from a ballista. And well aimed at that. Must be one of Sarah Lynnett's from out of Melv. Ah, so that's how we got... That's who we got to kill. Okay. This will be a right mess to clean up. Who knew there'd be a cabin round here? Okay, so is that the game telling me once they move this uh, griffin that it's a cave we can go into back here? Because otherwise, why would he say cavern? Yeah. Box! Ah, open. <laughs> so used to smashing boxes in video games. Okay. Okay. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from anyway? I've never heard of such a place. I don't know. Like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Yeah, did we really fly that far? That's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any city. Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapons, sir. You'll Activate a weapon. Let's go. Oh. I remember that move. Still awesome. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, dash, dash, please. Enemies flinching, press Y. Okay. Stab the guy who staggered. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, examine. Not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. I mean, can you give me like some greens? I remember in the first game, what are they call it, like Garwish greens or something. It's like your healing items. Let's see, we did pick up that potion. Gonna cast the map. Sorry, inventory. Oh, the inventory screen. I know this screen well. Remember in the first game, every time you used the, uh, you had to use the item, you had to come here. There we go, green, green, green warish. Okay, so I was kind of right. Get healed up. Is there a quicker way of opening that? Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. Gotcha, game. Let's grab some more of this because I know in the cave this was wood, so maybe we need this for something. Did they introduce crafting in this game? I know a lot of 
A lot of games nowadays have crafting, so... Maybe they put it in here. Alright, if I remember right, it's best not to get surrounded, so... Let's focus them down. Break his guard! Break his guard! That's right! Screw your shield! Take that! <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, can I not uh oh leveled up, okay. Can I not search that guy? Alright. Alright, maybe we can search this one? No. Oh we got some stuff, okay. Alright, let's grab this guy down here. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Okay. You're gonna be annoying, gotcha. Be skin. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. Uh, yep, that's the hand thing. Okay, so they're gonna kneel and are they gonna show me the riftstone? So no. Surely you cannot be the arisen. Man, I'm tall as so. hell. Yep, I knew it. Same thing in the first game. Happened a little bit differently, but same kind of sort of thing. Before you stands a riftstone. Okay, is this where I make my pawn? That's right. Rub your junk on it, and then you will own all the pawns. Pray. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Make my wife who got you. Know what? I might do that. All right. Waifu time, let's go.
All right, YouTube, it's not my best work, but uh, it'll do. I couldn't make my waifu, so I just just made a black chick. And um, yeah, character, cause character customization is good if you're a man, I'll say that. But like the female face options were horrible. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's definitely not cute. All right, vocation. Mm. Do I want to back up Archer? I, wa I was going to go fighter, but if I'm going to be a typical fighter, then I'm just trying to cover my bases because I'm going to need somebody that can shoot down flying creatures or throw spells or something. And... I could make her an archer. That would be cool. Hit weak spots and stuff and hit aerial enemies. That would be a benefit. Inclination. Straightforward. Uh, voice. Maybe I can hear it this time. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's not sound like Tracer from Overwatch. That's a man's voice. Damn, voice deep as shit. So it's Tracer or nothing. That's not bad. Okay, I'm going with number two. None of them sound black, though. Uh, finalize. Name. I type. There we go. Confirm. Don't do the wave. Give me a dap. Be like, be like, what's up, my nigga? Mm. To innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns such as myself are able to traverse. Gotcha. Same as the last game, I'm assuming. I can rent other people's pawns and whatnot. The knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. Okay. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Okay, just so long as you know you're probably going to be wearing skimpy clothing. Well, I'll be a pawn wow, I totally forgot about that guy. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. His eyes are just, like, blank. Like, no soul is in his eyes right now. No depth to him. Why, this is all beyond my ken. The watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. Okay. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. Okay. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. So why would I go there? Come on, guy. Oh, there's a dragon that attacked the town. You should go there if you don't have memories. Like what? <laughs> said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Or the dragon could just kill me. Maybe I should talk to the other arisen. He may know something. How about that? This guy trying to get me killed, YouTube. We just started the game. Order watch outpost. Okay. Guessing we can get supplies there. I'm guessing that's why the game's showing me that. Blah, blah, blah. I already know about ripstones. Just gonna interrupt me. Okay. Um, uh, uh, I'm good. I, I played part one. I, I know what pawns and the rift stones are. All right, YouTube. Let me end things here. 
And uh, we're going to pick things back up in the next one. And I'm going to try to find a quest or see what the next phase of the story is and, and go from there. I will see you guys on the next one. Later.